welcome back to Marley Makeup. In this video I'm going to show you three very easy ways to create the perfect flicked eyeliner. So the first thing we quickly need to talk about is what's available out there to do liquid liner with. Um, you obviously have seen me use this cream liner a lot. I like the one from Bobbi Brown, Catrice has got a great one, this one from MAC is also great. And these cream liners you can use different brushes with, so they're quite versatile. Um, I've got a few different brushes here. I really like using an angle brush. The thing with an angle brush is you can get a really nice sharp edge with it, but it's not always that easy to get a really thin tip on the end. So to, if you really want to get a nice thin sharp tip, something like this would be better to use. Um, I like this one from Bobbi Brown, you can get a really nice thin tip with that. This one is from Real Techniques, which is a bit of a fatter brush, but surprisingly you do actually manage to get a fairly thin tip um, with something like that. Then I also have this one which has got like a really nice thin flat side. So with that as well, I can come in and just draw a nice thin tip with that. Then we obviously have all of our different liquid liners. These pens have become really, really popular. Um, you can see this one has a really nice thin tip. So this one will be great to get really fine lines um, with that one. This one will give you a bit more of a chunkier, fatter line. And then we also have our liquid liners that come like this, where it's kind of, it's a brush that dips into the liquid. When you are buying one of these, make sure that the brush is not too long. This brush is a perfect size, I wouldn't go any longer than this. When the brush is too long, it starts getting really difficult to control it, and you kind of get that jagged edge with those liners. Okay, so let's get started. I've just done a very basic makeup look because we are focusing on the eyeliner. I will do a blog post on the makeup look that I've got on. Um, so let's start with the eyeliner. The easiest way, or yeah, one of the best ways to explain how to do a liquid liner with a flick is that you have to follow this bottom lash line up towards the end of your eyebrow and that'll basically form your guideline of where your flick is going to end. And then from there you can obviously decide how long you want the flick to be and from there you start bringing it in. Um, so I'm going to show you two methods on how to use that guideline and just an easy way of using that guideline to create your flick. And then right in the end I'm going to show you my favorite way to do liquid liner, um, which is just the gives us a bit more versatility because it doesn't necessarily mean that all of us, you know, the eye shape that we have suits that kind of liquid liner. You might want to be able to do it a bit straighter or a bit higher, a bit lower, um, but in the end I'm going to show you a method on how to do that. So the first method we are going to do is where we use tape. I like using this washi tape because it's not too sticky, but you can use a uh, sticky tape as well. And let's just get a piece off from there. When you use sticky tape, just put it on your clothes, like stick it on your clothes so it's not too sticky. And what we're going to do with this tape is I'm going to tape that guideline that I just explained. So we're going to go from our bottom lash line up towards the end of our eyebrow. And we're going to stick it down over there. And then what you're going to do, I'm going to use this L'Oreal Superliner Circature. Love, love, love this. It's one of those pen liners. It's got a nice thin little tip. And then from there, you can decide how long you want your liner to be. But let's say we're going to start it there. And then from there, you can just start filling in your little flick. And let's just quickly line our top lash line as well. When I line my top lash, and I like to go really thin first and then go thicker and thicker and thicker. So we're starting with a thin, thin line. And I always like to go right into this inner corner. So once you've got that filled in, now we're going to take off this tape and we've got a really pretty perfect little flick on that side. So for the other side I'm just quickly going to fill in just this line on the top lash line. So we're starting thin and going a bit thicker. Okay so I'm happy with the thickness of that line. Now um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to freehand draw in this flick just where I think it should be. And I'm going to purposefully do it bad to show you guys another method. So I'm just going to fill it in quite rough. Let's bring it a little bit higher. You can see with this pen how you can really get a nice thin, thin, thin tip with it. Okay, so now we've drawn that flick. You can see it's quite a messy flick. It's not perfect. Then we're going to take an earbud or a cotton swab and some makeup remover. I've really been enjoying this one from Bioderma. It's the H2O Sense, Sensi Bio. 
Then once you've got your makeup remover on there, I like to just make this tip just a bit smooth, like that. Then what you're going to do is follow the guideline that I showed you earlier, where you go from your bottom lash line up to your eyebrow. So you do that, and with that makeup remover, you are taking off everything that should not be on that bottom line. And then you can just come in with your liner again and just neaten up that edge. So that's basically two ways that you can create a liquid liner. I'm quickly just going to take off these little flicks in the end and show you my favorite way how to do liquid liner. So I'm just going to use, this is what I've been using on my eyebrows from Smashbox. It's one of their brow tick um, little palettes in color brunette. I'm using an angle brush and I'm just going to use this lighter color. So you can just use a light brown, a soft brown eyeshadow, um, something that you can wipe off easily. Just getting some of that product on the angle brush. Now, as I said earlier, the common way to do an eyeliner with a flick is to go from this bottom lash line up towards the brow bone. I'm gonna use just a bit of a darker color so that you can see better. Um, so I'm just gonna use the darker one, but I would recommend using one that's a little bit lighter, but I just want you guys to see. So that would be your guideline. So you can actually come with your eyeshadow, draw in your guideline, and then from there decide how long, maybe we want this flick to be a little bit longer. So you're basically drawing in the flick before you do it with your liquid liner. And then you'll just take off that end and come in with your liquid liner and draw that flick in. Now, as I mentioned with this method, you can be, it's a bit more versatile. So let me show you why. I might want my eye, you know, my eyeliner to be a little bit straighter. So I'm not going to follow this line from this bottom corner up to the brow bone. I actually want my eyeliner to go from this bottom corner and be a little bit more elongated. So I'm drawing in that guideline, grabbing my eyeshadow. Let's say I want it to be like a thinner, longer flick. And I'll come with my eyeshadow and I'll actually draw in that flick I'll remove this brown eyeshadow and that will be the flick that I'm going to get depending on the eye makeup look that I'm doing but that is your guideline for that one. So when I do my eyeliner I like to kind of go in between those two that I just showed you so not going all the way up to the end of the brow but also not that far just kind of going in between those two there and then from there, bringing it back in. Let's do this side. I usually do this freehand. This is just a very easy way to show you guys how to do it. Okay, so once you've got it right, this is also such a great way to get them to look the same because you can put the eyeshadow there and go, oh, they don't look the same. Take it off, redo it, have a look again. Really, really easy way. I think this is the best way to do it. So then once you've done that, come in with your eyeliner and now you can just come and fill in where you've put your eyeshadow. And I just always like to join this a little bit with this bottom lash line. So I'll just fill it in on this little corner. And then take off the extra brown eyeshadow that's left there. I do recommend using a lighter brown eyeshadow than I did. And I'm just going to touch up my eyeshadow on the ends. Then over to our lashes. I am going to curl my lashes. I find when I do a liquid liner with a nice flick, it's really nice to have my eyelashes lifted, especially out on these corners. This eyelash curler is from Ruby Box, which is a really, really, yeah, really great eyelash curler. I've been loving this one. Then for mascara, I'm using my mascara from L'Oreal. This is also from the So Couture range. This is called Volume Million. And I love this mascara because I can actually just use this one on its own. I usually do two mascaras where this one works really well just on its own. And I can really get into the roots and start building my lashes. Do you know what I have found since I started doing my videos is that um, when the mirror is in front of you, which is usually the way we do it, like I do my makeup in my bathroom mirror, I usually get a bit of like smudge on the top from my mascara, but now my mirror is below me, so I'm looking down doing my mascara and then I don't get any smudges. 
So maybe try that if you do struggle with your mascara. And then to finish off my look, I'm going to put some lipstick on. This is from MAC. It's part of their Luster range and Tangerine Dream. I have been loving, loving this color. I don't know if you guys noticed my nails. My nails is from Topshop. This is called Totally Turmeric. It totally looks like turmeric. So this is a really, really like weird color. I think it has to grow on you. But this has been my favorite color and I was so happy to find a nail polish that's the same. Isn't this lipstick fantastic? I love this color. It's like a weird color. It's almost like food, but beautiful. Now for those of you who have stuck around to the end of this video to find out about the wonderful giveaway is I'm going to give away this L'Oreal Super Liner Socature and also the Socature Volume Million Lashes. So this mascara and this liquid liner is up for grabs. All you have to do is you've got to make sure you subscribe to my channel and um, you can either click over here, it'll take you to my channel, subscribe on the little red square. If you're on YouTube, the little red square would be below my video and just click subscribe and leave me a comment below the video and tell me why you love a liquid liner. I'll tell you why I love a liquid liner. For me, a liquid liner is the quickest, easiest way to really just add a bit of glam, a bit of sex appeal and a bit of confidence to your makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.